honey. How was your day? It was great. How was yours? It was really good. I uh, ran a little set at the supermarket. Uh, she was telling me about this, uh, this brochure that she got at the church about colorectal cancer screenings. What's, what's colorectal cancer screenings? It's, you remember, it's what Lucinda's husband died of last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that was awful. It was. She was telling me about this brochure. They have a, an information session run by Puentes, and they give you information about colorectal cancer screenings to help prevent it. You should go. I mean, that sounds great, but I'm not sick. No, look. Look and see what the brochure says. You're supposed to go even when you're not sick. They catch it early, and then it's treatable. I could totally do this. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for that. You're welcome. What is colon cancer? Well, colon cancer is cancer of the colon or rectum. How do I get colon cancer? Well, uh, cancer occurs when our bodies and the cells in our bodies mutate over time uncontrollably uh, due to a variety of factors including our um, environment, our socioeconomic status, and our genes. And colon cancer is just a specific type of cancer that that occurs directly from the cells in our colon or rectum, which is just a part of our digestive system. Should I worry about getting this? My friend Juan died last year of this exact type of cancer. Well, I mean, unfortunately, many Latinos in our community you know, are more likely to be diagnosed with colon cancer in advanced stages. So all that means for you is that uh, you know, the earlier we detect the cancer, the more likely you are to receive treatment and survive. So we recommend that screenings begin, you know, take place every year after 50. What are some of the methods to detect this cancer? So we actually have several methods to uh, detect colon cancer. and. Uh, some of them are, uh, we have a sigmoidoscopy, we, have, you know, we administer colonoscopies, uh, we have a digital rectal exam, a, a barium en enema, and a, a fecal occult blood test, which uh, we just refer to as FOBT. And uh, that's the one we're going to be utilizing here at Puentes, you know, simply because it's the most cost-effective treatment and the least invasive, and the, most importantly, it doesn't require health insurance. So. You know, some issues, some negative side effects are sometimes there are false positives and false negatives, but otherwise, you know, it's the best treatment for fluorescence. Just out of curiosity, doctor, why does the brochure target only men? The simple answer is that colon cancer affects more men than women. So that's it.